And where's Dave Koch? He's going to be coming to the mic for a special announcement. Listen up, Dave has something to tell you. Everybody must do this. We have to have full participation. This is our lay leader, David Koch. All right, I'm here to push the spuds. We got over 13 pallets of spuds back there that need to disappear. Y'all listening up? This is for you. During the dinner hour is a perfect time to drive your car around. Men with strong backs and stronger wills will load them into your car for you. So take at least one bag per car. You can maybe take two. But we got to get these spuds out. I know there's a food bank in your area or your church that can use these and distribute them to people who really need them. So take some spuds. And this is sponsored by the United Methodist Men St. Andrew, Andrew's Potato Project. So please take them. We can't just let them spoil. And everyone knows someone who could use some food. Okay, folks, it really pays to have electronic giving. Do you know since we last talked that we got $520 sent electronically? $520. So folks, this means every one of you needs to get this in your church because young people don't carry cash anymore. You've got to find ways of having giving online through email, have a kiosk in your church, whatever. But let's think about creative ways of doing stewardship in the 21st century. So we're up another 520, but you know, we still have a long way to go. So three more thousand dollars. And you know, we will take pledges too. If churches want to pledge a couple thousand, that would be wonderful. Okay, we're about to start, and we would like to ask for our young adult, Christian, to begin us with a word of prayer. Let us be in order, please. We're having a word of prayer. Would you please bow your heads? Dear God, we thank you for this time that we are about to use. Thank you for leading us into your will, in your way with your voice. We thank you for the time that we've already used on deciding on things that truly matter and that we pray um, that we will talk about things that need to be talked about, decide on things that need to be decided, and that it will be your will. In Jesus' name, amen. And I forgot to mention a special thanks to folks who responded to the the uh, false alarm medical alert that we announced during the retiree service. Whoever it went off, we don't know who they are, so we don't think anyone's had a true medical emergency, but everyone on our team responded immediately. We had a medical team here um, minutes, in minutes, the ambulances were here. So uh, it really pays to have these if you have a medical issue, and it's a way of taking care of yourself and taking care of those you love. So thank you, team, for working together to respond to what wasn't an emergency, but had there been one, we had the people there to do it. Now, at this time, we'd like to show a video. These folks couldn't come in person, but many of our churches are supporting the Congo Partnership. We are in partnership with the Central Congo Conference, and the Southeast District had this as their project this year, and many other districts are also supporting the many projects that give life and hope to people in the Congo. Our United Methodist friends, our missionaries, Donna and Jonathan Baker, will be greeting you now through this video. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27, it says, Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of us is part of it. I'm Donna Baker, your Global Ministries missionary serving as a nurse in mission. And I am Jonathan Baker, your Global Ministries missionary serving as coordinator of the Congo Partnership. And we continue to be honored and humbled to serve God in a place called the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Central Congo Episcopal Area now being served by newly elected Bishop David Lungay. A partnership that now includes the Western North Carolina Conference, Eastern Pennsylvania Conference, Peninsula Delaware Conference, along with the United States churches from Texas to Iowa to Florida, all working with the Central Congo Episcopal Area. Every day we have the privilege to witness miracles and the Church of Acts unfolding in Congo as thousands are brought to Christ each year in faith. Every day Christ brings sight to the blind, 
heals the sick, feeds the hungry, clothes the naked, gives water to those who are thirsty, and restores people back into their families, communities, and in relationship with God. And so often Christ works through the various projects of the Congo Partnership and through the daily opportunities that we are given to be the hands and the hearts of Jesus. And we have discovered something beautiful, which we always knew, but has become even more profound and exciting since we became full-time missionaries. That we are the body of Christ, and through our connection with Christ and one another in this United Methodist Church, we are all working together. When we are there in Congo, you are there with us. You are with us through your encouragement, prayers, financial support of the many projects, and our works as missionaries. You are there with us when you invite us or others from the partnership to come to your churches so that we can share what God is doing in Congo. That's what Dr. Elizabeth Miller, a missionary doctor in Nepal, once told me in my church at Richardson Park, Delaware, when I was eight years old. She told us, and I heard her speaking to me, that I was there with them. And that message continues to resonate in my heart and soul to this day. And we are here with you when you are in mission in your local communities and in many other places around the world. How How beautiful beautiful is the the body body of Christ. Christ. There is so much to be done to help the people of Congo develop so that one day they will be self-sustaining. This is our goal in everything that we do and the Congo Partnership does in Congo. And so, my friends, you are with us. You are there with us as we work, play, laugh, and cry with our Congolese sisters and brothers. When you help us hold newborn children or embrace a mother whose child has died, you are there with us when we are deeply touched and changed by the faithfulness and joy of the people who materially have so little, but spiritually are overflowing with God's grace and joy. And you are there with us when hungry children are fed, some of them severely malnourished, through our nutrition programs at Impasa and Miriam's Table. You are there in our sewing programs, trade schools, and secondary schools, teaching, training, and equipping young women and men so they can provide for their own families. How How beautiful beautiful is the body body of Christ. Christ. And you are there with us in the creation of a model farm that one day we believe will be replicated throughout the central Congo. A farm that, through animal traction for plowing, is able to grow much more food for the people in the village, where highly nutritional foods are now being grown to prevent malnutrition. You are there with us as we provide fresh drinking water in a region 16 times the size of Delaware, with 1.8 million people, where today there are only two villages with fresh water, and people die daily from river-related diseases. You are there with us as the partnership will soon dig four to five new wells later this year, reminding the people that fresh drinking water comes from Christ. And you are there with us as sight is given to the blind through our cataract missions in remote areas where no ophthalmological care is available, where a medical team of Congolese doctors, nurses, and workers from across the central Congo will come together this August and lives will be changed. You are there with us as we go through challenges with people every day. People sick who have no access to or resources for medical care. Widows who are looking for ways to care for their families. Communities impacted by the devastation of storms that destroy schools and medical facilities. And you are there with us as we walk with them, pray with them, link them to resources and people who become God's vessels for healing and strength. You are there when a new school and medical facility are constructed because you have been the bridge between the community and UMCOR that helped make this possible. You are there with us in medical facilities across central Congo and especially in Impasa, where last year a new pediatric building was constructed, equipped through the generosity of the Southeast District of Eastern Pennsylvania Conference and many people from the Peninsula Delaware Conference, a place now where lives will be saved and thousands of children and their families given care through the amazing Congolese staff at Impasa with these new resources. How beautiful is the body of Christ. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Lusaka Afula for all that you do in the name of Jesus.
lovely video can be downloaded from our website. It's just sitting up there for you to download and show to people in your church. These are our partners in mission, and these missionaries come to the United States frequently, and they will go to any church that invites them. They'll go to the biggest, the smallest, any church in this conference if you just give them a call, or you can actually talk to them on a phone because they do talk to you by cell phone from the Congo, but don't call at certain hours of the night because <laughs> they're, they're seven hours ahead of us, okay? But they will respond to emails and phone calls. So thank you so much for supporting the Congo. Central Congo Conference Mission.